Welcome back again, my name is Hyacinth and today we will continue our lecture on methodologies. So without any further ado let's begin. Task-based learning. Task-based learning involves the students into having to use English to master a problem or complete a task. This is where games and role-playing come into learning English. The students can play a game to help them understand what they have learned. Role play to recycle past lessons and to make their learning easier. One example of this is to play a game in English and the first student who can answer the questions in English is the winner. Another example would be role playing where the students pretend to go to a business and order dinner in English in order to pass an exam. Once I blended two classes together. I was doing a private class for a clothing store to help the clerks learn English to help Western customers. Another class was a regular class who was learning about clothes. One class was given the task to shop and ask questions about products. The other class was to answer the questions and help the students. After about two weeks of instruction, I normally would put the class through the task of role-playing. The students would review lessons and then prepare a small dialogue to speak in front of the class. With this plan, they were reviewing past lessons, talking about how to ask and answer questions, writing, speaking and listening. Many different learning tools placed into one lesson. Whatever you do, the task rules must be fully explained and the students have to pass these rules in order to pass the task to show they have mastered the course or the class lesson requirement or goal of the teacher. Total Physical Response, TPR, Language Teaching Strategy, which introduces new language through a series of commands to physically enact an event. The student responds to the commands with action. Research shows that more efficient learning occurs when students actually move than when they do not. For beginning students, an advantage of TPR is that students are not required to make oral responses until they have achieved and demonstrated full comprehension through physical actions. As with many methodologies used in ELL one of the newest is the total physical approach. It was created by Dr. James Asher. He is Emeritus Professor of Psychology and former Associate Dean at San Jose State University. Sky Oaks Production, Page 1 the benefits of TPR are a. Rapid understanding of the target language, b. Long-term retention lasting weeks, months, even years, and c. Zero stress for both students and the instructor. ESL in Canada page 1, TPR is formed by the belief that when children learn a language they observe their parents when they talk and responds physically to the speech. This can be as simple as a parent looking at a baby and making silly sounds and the baby turns to look at the parent. These actions are reinforced by the parent. Before a child begins to talk and make errors such as holophrastic, telegraphic, overgeneralization, accidental gaps, etc. the child listens quietly to the parent absorbing the language and this is where the language begins. As the child grows the parent gives commands to the child in which the child reacts and follows such orders as stand up, sit down, etc. The teacher tries to use this method in class. It is with this hope that a learner will be able to learn the target language faster. One of the ways to do this in the classroom is by playing games. One of the simple games is Simon says, or I love you. Simon Says is a game where learners have to listen to rules and do as the speaker says. In the game I Love You the learners have to listen to the command and if the command applies to them they have to switch chairs. By doing this the learners can connect vocabulary with actions and various tenses. This methodology is most suitable for beginners as older students who have some proficiency may find the activities boring or irrelevant. Body language is excellent to use in order to relay meaning. When teaching new words over pronunciation or exaggeration of the word helps the learner understand the word, pronunciation and speaking. Gibbling page 1. TPR allows students to react to language without thinking too much 
facilitates long-term retention and reduces student anxiety and stress. In order to implement TPR effectively, it is necessary to plan regular sessions that progress in a logical order and to keep several principles in mind. Sheardon, page 1. Seven basic steps of TPR. Setting up. The teacher sets up a situation in which students follow a set of commands using actions, generally with props, to act out a series of events. These events should be appropriate to the age level of the students. Demonstration. The teacher demonstrates, or has a student demonstrate the series of actions. Students are expected to pay careful attention, but they do not talk or repeat the commands. Group live action. The group acts out the series as the teacher gives commands. Usually this step is repeated several times so that students internalize the series thoroughly before they produce it orally, or, when appropriate, read the series of actions. Written copy. The series is put on chart paper or blackboard for students to read and copy. Oral repetition and questions. After the students have made a written copy, they repeat each line after the teacher, taking care with difficult words. They have ample opportunity to ask questions, and the teacher points out particular pronunciation features that may be causing problems. Student demonstration, students, are given the opportunity to play the roles of reader of the series and performer of the actions. The teacher checks comprehension and prompts when needed. Pair students to work in groups of two or three, one telling or reading the series, and the others listening and responding physically. During the group work time, the teacher can work individually with students. Understanding of language is developed before speaking, learners listen in the beginning, follow directions of the instructor without translation. The traditional genre approach, freshman composition texts, are generally organized on the basis of prose genres, description, narration, explanation, and argumentation, and the like. Readings are labeled and grouped according to these notions and students are then taught to write a narrative or a description. While these genres are definitely useful to describe the general nature of a text, no text is limited to one genre. A text may, for instance, use description within a narrative as a way of explaining as part of an argument. Traditional study skills approaches. Many writing courses stress study skills. Traditional study plans such as square 3R survey, question, read, recite, and review, and PQ4R preview, question, read, reflect, recite, review involve activities such as scanning the introductions and prefaces, examining the table of contents or headings, previewing sections, reading abstracts or summaries first, asking yourself questions, reciting important passages, rereading or reviewing sections. Activities such as these can maximize your reading efforts, but they don't tell you what to look for and how to think about what you find. They don't tell you anything about how language is used to communicate ideas. Transactional Strategies Instruction TSI, one method of teaching reading comprehension strategies developed and researched by Michael Presley. TSI involves teachers modeling their use of comprehension strategies to demonstrate when and how to apply the strategies in different problem-solving situations. Teachers share the responsibility of conducting a thoughtful discussion about a common text with students, who are also expected to explain their use of strategies and to communicate their reflective responses to what they have read. The goal of TSI is to have students independently use the comprehension strategies as they read any text and this goal is for all students, not just a few. Comprehension strategies that are often taught in TSI. Questioning. Summarization. Prediction. Visualization. Activation and use of prior knowledge. Use of story grammar, fictional texts. Use of text structures, informational texts. Thinking aloud. Understanding when comprehension breaks down. 
Personal responses to texts. Connections. Use the following questions to think about how you can integrate elements of transactional strategies instruction into a discussion of any text, fictional, or informational, novel or textbook, with any grade or academic level of student. How can you explicitly demonstrate what the comprehension strategy is and how to use it? How can you explicitly explain why you used a particular strategy and other times when use of that strategy would be appropriate? How can you listen to your students' explanations of how, when and why they are using comprehension strategies? How can you communicate to students that the use of strategies and responses to texts depend on each person and his or her experiences, and that we can learn from these different points of view? How can you prompt students to choose a strategy instead of telling students which strategy to use? How can you allow students to respond to each other instead of having all the conversation come through you? How can you integrate the use of all the comprehension strategies while also focusing on teaching new strategies? Whole language. Whole language has been widely adopted in the teaching of reading to native speakers of English. It has been somewhat controversial, partly because of some misinterpretations and misapplications of its underlying principles. Many schools now supplement whole language teaching with more traditional approaches to reading such as instruction in phonics. Approaches include Individualized instruction Independent reading Students as authors Integration of content subjects Whole language has replaced phonics instruction because learners have focused on how to pronounce words, but not what the words mean. This is crucial because until learners are fluent in English they will continue to make negative transfer errors in speaking due to L1. For example, one point is that Spanish children learn five vowels and not the 15 English vowels. These children will not be able to distinguish the additional vowel sounds. The emphasis is on function rather than form. In whole language teaching, as in integrated language teaching, Students work on completion of a task or project which requires the use of all language skills. There is often a product at the end of the project. The preparation of this product may involve students in reading or interviewing people to gather information, talking to each other in planning and designing the product, and speaking or writing in delivering the final product. Examples of whole language project. Student newspaper the learners need to utilize all skills and work together to create a final product. Fashion show students need to work together to be able to create and tell about their creation. Cookbook students need to put together what they know in order that someone else can follow the instructions. Experimenting with methodology methodology doesn't have an exact explanation with each student. Students from different cultures react differently to certain lesson plans. One class may like your lesson plan, while others may hate it. Because of this, it's very important that you experiment with methodologies, or blend a methodology together with another. To do this, you have to find out what are the learning blocks for each class, their wants and needs. Let's take for example a class in South Korea. Koreans are very proud of their written language. Teaching pronunciation with their country's own alphabet or letters will have a very negative reaction. One reason is the writing. If you were to tell the students to write only the sounds you speak, you may get a student saying you are crazy because they have to write it in a way which doesn't sound like what you said. For example, you can say the word beach, but they will write it as beachy. When you explain that they need to drop the long E sound in the spelling in order to pronounce words better, they will think you don't know what you are talking about. Some will even tell you that you are wrong. Well that is all the time we have for today. Thank you for being here today, and I hope to see you again. Cheerio!